What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 Predicts. I have game number four in the IPL. It's RR versus CSK. If you do not know, then let me tell you. It's Rajasthan Royals versus Chennai Super Kings. Who do I think is going to win this one? Now, as much as I love Mahi, MSD, Tale, you know all of the above. Uh, Captain Cool, you know the drill. Uh, I love that guy. You guys know that. But um, as much as I love him, I think Rajasthan might win this one. Now, I do think CSK will have a little bit of an advantage since, you know, there, were, there was lockdown and all that. And so uh, some of the players at Rajasthan might not have played all that much cricket, whereas CSK have already played one game. This is their second game. So I might, I might have a bit of an advantage there. But I still think Rajasthan might take this one. Do let me know who do you think is going to win in the comments down below. And uh, we're about to get into the game. Do not forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell also do consider becoming a channel member thank you to everyone who has become a channel member by the way and we're about to get in the game here we go almost there coin toss coming up and here we go t20 at the Sharjah cricket stadium in uae uae wickets like i keep saying in these videos are uh, very good they have they offer something for the batsmen as well as the bowlers and um that's why i like the games in uae because the wickets are not as flat as they are in pakistan or india um, so uh, it's a pretty interesting game. There he is, Mah uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni uh, has won the toss and, and he has go. chosen to have a bot bat first for after Placey to face off against Ty first up. Okay. Lovely oh, shot over nice cover shot. from Faf. He's not faffing about because that's driven into cover for four runs. And uh, well, this time he goes on the onside. And he'll collect four runs as well. He was pretty good in the first game. I think he got a half done in that one as well. That's a lovely slash on the offside between shot. point and gully. And that will travel to the boundary for four. Faf really isn't faffing about, like I said. And uh, he moves on to 17 of just 10 deliveries. That's 170 that strike rate. The math is quite easy there. Come on, you can do it too. Uh, <laughs> now that one's a bit more difficult. Not as difficult, but a bit more difficile. difficile. All right, lovely bit of work there from Watto. Gets his first runs and first boundary of the day. Well, follows it by his second boundary of the day and follows that by his third. No, actually, that's Faf Duplessis. I'm, I'm mixing up my white boys, my Goras. <laughs> lovely shot off his pants, Fafi. And that's going to go over the road for six runs. First six of the day, free hit it is. Lovely flick of the wrist from Faf. It is again. 35 runs he's on of 86 a little under 200 strike rate and with that i think uh they no i thought they brought up their 50 but no with that shot they will bring up their 50 there we have it 50 partnership between these two Watto from australia and faf from south africa it's a lovely shot over cover from shane watson he'll pick up four runs he goes over well this time goes over extra cover and it'll pick up a yet another boundary. Both these boys are looking very good. There he goes again over cover again, and he'll pick up yet another boundary. CSK has got a dynamite uh, pair in their opening. They've got quite a ballistic start to the game. Let's see how they finish the game off there. It's a lovely shot, although there's a fielder coming under it. But all that fielder will do is watch it sail over the rope for six runs. It's a lovely shot from Watto as he enters his 40 as well. Faf is just one run away from his 50. And uh, Watto, I think, is going to pick up another four there. And he does just that 45. He moves on to well 47. Tries to smash that one away. Doesn't time it all too well. But he will pick up one run, and that is all. Well, actually, he'll pick up two runs, and one is all he needed for his half ten. So he'll get his half ten, and it was a no ball as well. So he'll be followed 50. by a free hit. But there it is, 51 runs of 33 deliveries, and now water on strike. That looks a bit close. That looks a bit close to me. Are they going to review it? To I would review it, you know. It is Shane Watson, like I said, he's a very dangerous player, so I would take the review. risk against him. If it wastes the review, why not? It's worth it against Watto. 
and he did bring it back into the uh, right hand. Uh, let's see, it might be umpire's call. In fact, it is, and I do not like that one call. bit because it is hitting the stumps and it should be given out. But they're gonna re it's going to remain not out due to that rule, which is the umpire's call rule, which I completely disagree with. But it is a rule nonetheless. We knew That's that rule existed man. before we came into the game. It's not like they just you know, made up that rule right there in the middle of the game. But that's a lovely shot from Watto. And there's 50 up for Watto as well. And uh, they have gone over 100 partnership. And a 20 A T20 is what I meant to say. It's a lovely shot. They've got plenty more, though. They're not going to end it right there. Most batsmen, when they get to their half ton, they end up losing their wickets, but not these two. Well, I guess I spoke a bit too soon. No, he's fine. That's overthrows. <laughs> They'll pick up an extra run. No, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Are you serious? How is it that close, by the way? That should have been a clear run out. But uh, yeah, the ball has kind of made a mess of that as well. Um, it, it shouldn't have been that close. You know, the bowler tried to dislodge the bales first time and he missed the stumps altogether they had to do it a second time but he got the wicket all the same in the end faf has gone kedar jadav comes out to the middle of uh, uh the ground and uh Wado plays a lovely hook shot in the gap again poor running i do not like this running from csk what is happening he's gone he is definitely gone Umpire does not even need to refer that. Yeah, there he goes. He was way outside of his the crease there. And uh, what a gun after scoring a lovely 50, though. Let's not forget that. Let's give him all the applause and appreciation because he has entertained us well. And but here you do at the other end alongside Kidder. Kidder over point is where. <laughs> and uh, Rayudu not scored any runs. He's taken him on. Has he got all of it though? Has he? That's the real question. I do not think he has. No, he yeah, has not gone for a golden tack. Is Umbati. And uh, it's not looking too good because they've lost two quick wickets. Make it three quick wickets. What is happening? They have been given such a brilliant start by Shane Watson and Faf Duplessis. And they're now all over the place. Mahi needs to take control of this game. And boy, is he taking it. What a shot, that is sexy. He's gone to the boundary for four. Dwayne Bravo joins the party at the other end. The Caribbean boys love the party. And if there's an invitation, they will accept it. You better believe it. It's a lovely shot over point, and that's gonna race away the boundary for four as well. It's a very cheeky shot from Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Connects well, gets four runs. Oh, trying to be a bit too cheeky though, Dhoni. MSD is gone. And uh, he brought a little bit of a stability to his team. But uh, he's gone. Ravindra Jadeja comes out to bat now. Lovely shot from Dwayne. Bravo. DJ. Bravo. Comes out to the middle. Lovely shot from Ravindra Jadeja. There'll be four runs for him as well. First boundary for him in this innings. Lovely shot. There's a fielder there. Whoa. Tries to get his hand to it. And he does get his hand to it, but could not hang on to it. And so they have dropped a catch, although that was a very difficult catch. But um, a drop catch nonetheless. Yep. Inside edge. Dwayne Bravo, who's been getting lucky, gets lucky once more uh, with that inside edge. And they'll pick up a couple of runs. And uh, yeah, it's turning out to be quite a good total from CSK. That's, That's a shot and a half from Jadeja. Yeah, That's going to raise away the boundary for four as well. Lovely, 185 is pretty good, and he's bowled a no ball job for there. That's a fairly quick delivery. 93, a little over 93 k's an hour. I mean miles an hour, and um, it's a lovely shot. He's uh, saved him one run, I think. How many have they taken? Yeah, one run, two runs actually, because he took two runs, and that would have been a four if he had not stopped it. Last delivery, lovely bit of fielding. I'm liking this fielding, although. CSK have scored quite a few runs nice and with that there. they have scored a hundred and ninety seven runs which is quite a lot of runs in Sharjah although the Sharjah Stadium is a small one uh, it has a smaller boundary so it's easy to score runs at a high rate but the bowlers were uh, all of them pretty much were quite expensive ex uh, except Gopal Gopal is pretty uh, well it's expensive as well just not as expensive as the others and uh, Mananwara 
will be opening the batting and uh, uh, Shardul Thakur will be opening the bowling for CSK so the match is set 198 is the target that's no easy feat to achieve not in UAE at least but like I said Sharjah out of all the uh, stadiums in UAE is one of those stadiums where you can actually score this many runs whoa that was quite a delivery I got a late in swing there and it's undone the batsman Munnan is gone and he's very upset with himself he's gone for a duck Rian Parag, is that how you say his name? Please correct me if I say any of the names incorrectly. Um, lovely shot. Race away to the boundary for four. Thick outside edge between the two fielders. And that will race away to the boundary for four as well. Jeswal, I believe that's how you say his name. If that does not, please correct me. And uh, yeah, four more runs. Uh, goes over extra cover. They've got him inside the circle. Nobody on the rope, and so he'll pick up four runs. Oh, what a shot. That's a shot and a half straight down the ground over Meron. And that will race away the boundary for four as well. And with that, he enters his 20s, early 20s. He's on well. Make it late 20s, because that's another 426. He'll get after that shot. And going at a little under 200. It's a lovely shot. Well, with that shot, actually, he's going to be going at exactly 200 strike rate, because that's going to be 30 or 15. That's a lovely shot, a solid hit straight down the ground and just about beats the fielder. Enters double digits as Jay Swall. Thick outside edge, travels to the fielder and he's gone. The left-hander, Yashavi Jay Swall. Sanju Sampson, next batsman to walk out in the middle. Goes over cover. It's going to be four runs. First delivery faces, he smashes it away for four. There he goes again. Another lovely shot over cover for four runs. Eight of just two deliveries. Oh, that's a close one, although I think the umpire might not give it. If it was me, I would have given it. But, you know, it would have been against the rules, but not against my rules, which is as long as the ball is hitting the stumps, it should be given out. I think that should have been given out. I, They should not review it. If I was a captain, I would review it. They have reviewed it. Let's see. Ooh, I think the ball pitched outside of the leg. Game no, on. actually, the game thinks it's pitched inside that's of leg, and the on. impact is in front of leg as well, and it's going on to hit the middle stump, so that's going to be a decision overturned, a wrong decision from the umpire, and one that goes in the favor of the bowler, and there it is. Decision overturned, and that's the end of the batsman known as Rayan Arag. Like I said, if I'm saying that incorrectly, please let me know. Shias Gopal, the next batsman to walk out to the middle. Lovely shot into extra cover, and that'll race away the boundary for four. Right, he's uh, got a boundary on the very first delivery. That's a good shot straight down the ground, but I have a feeling he might lose his wicket, and he does. That's a brilliant piece of fielding there, whoever that is. It's Dwayne Bravo. Well, of course, it's Dwayne Bravo. It's the superstar himself. Steve Smith, the skipper, comes out to the middle now, and his team is in desperate need of quick runs, which I think Steve Smith will be able to deliver, although Sanju at the other end is doing quite well. Samson is uh, going quite strong and outside edge well Smitty's gone out of form he is and out of the stadium he goes as well he scored only one run Benjamin Stokes he comes out to bat and well that's a lot of room he's been given there Samson that is I keep calling him Samson it's Samson not Samson there is no P what a delivery wow Oh my goodness, by the barest of margins, that clips the outside stump. Look at that, the off stump, I mean, the outside of the off stump. It just about, it just grazes it, but it was enough to dislodge the bales. We've seen it so many times where the bales do not dislodge, even through some quick bowlers like Mitch Stark, but in this case, the spinner has dislodged it, and Imran Thayer has been given quite a welcome because that's been smashed away for a six. Lovely flick of the wrist, into the car corner he goes. As a fielder, but well, he will not be there in time to hunt that ball down as that one goes across the row for four runs. Lovely bit of fielding there. Ben Stokes is still out there, so he'll something they'll have to rely on. Joffre can whack him hard, I heard. I've not really seen him do it. Oh, that's out. Well, that's the end of Ben Stokes, so uh, there's that uh, hope gone down the drain. Speaking of drains, they're actually laying that down in my bathroom at the moment. I hope you're not hearing any of the construction noises. But uh, Joffre with a slog sweep. 
Bit of a mix-up, a bit of a mix-up, a bit of a mix-up, and it's a direct hit. That's always close. That is always very close. He's referred it to the third umpire, but I don't think he needs to have a second look because he's way outside of his crease. That is quite a throw from that angle. All he's seeing is one stump, and from the boundary rope as well. What a piece of fielding that is. Imran Tahir, you absolute beauty, dismisses uh, Jofra Archer. Andrew Tai comes out to bat now, and uh, well, it looks like CSK is going to win another game. And to be honest, I'm very glad. I hope that's what happens in real life. Like I said, I quite like MSD, and I want his team to do well. But um, I just have a feeling that in real life, Rajasthan is going to win the first game. But uh, in the game... Does not look too good for Rajasthan. That's another wicket. Well, no, it would have been if he hung on to that one, but he's dropped it, and that kid survives. And, uh, well... <laughs> oh, now that's for in front. That has to be given out. Ravindra, come on. Yep, yeah, he's got his wicket. He's got Jadiv. On that cut, again, please correct me if I'm saying any of these names incorrectly. Uh, Mayank Markande is gone. Oh, boy. All right, he's gone. That's it. He's not that. He didn't uh, spend too much time out there in the middle. Dwayne Bravo took that catch. DJ Bravo begins the party. The 80 runs. CSK Super Kings have won that game by same current. Gets them out of the match for his lovely bowling spell. Got three wickets of just 19 uh, uh, runs given. Although I think the man of the match should have been given to one of the opening pair because, well, they did really well with the bat, and the bat is the reason. Uh, CSK won that game although they were very 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 good with the ball as well so uh, Sam Curran to be honest deserves it as much as the openers as well I guess but I uh, do let me know who do you think it's going to win in real life I still think Rajasthan is going to win in real life but like I said if CSK wins it in real life I will be very happy because I like CSK I don't really like Rajasthan all that much if you're Rajasthan fans I've got nothing against you I just like my under Singh Dhoni that's all <laughs> uh, but yeah I think you will understand especially if you're from India how can you not love Dhoni come on now anyways thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did do drop a like hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and uh, do consider becoming a channel member thank you to everyone who has become a channel member already and uh, thank you for watching this video I hope I'll see you guys in the next one until then have a nice